Hello everyone, this is Simply Syrup and I'm so happy to have you joining the channel. Today's video is going to give you an exact blueprint to take over large countries early in the game. I'm talking about the big four, America, China, Russia, or India. I promise that if you watch this video in its entirety, you will have no issue taking control of the top countries as soon as the game starts. We're going to keep this introduction short and sweet today. Just do me a favor and remember that if you enjoy this video to consider subscribing to the channel so we can continue to grow together. But before I take up any more of your time, let's get into step one. Step number one, find a counselor with high influence and the public campaign mission. The most important resource in Terra Invicta is your counselors, and if you are going to take over a large country early, your counselor would need two key components. For one, they need to have high persuasion. The higher the better. We were blessed on this playthrough to start out with an extremely high persuasion character, Carrie Crab. although if you weren't as lucky as me and are stuck with a 6 or lower, I would encourage you to start the hiring process with a focus on the persuasion stat. The other component your high persuasion counselor will need is the public campaign mission. If they don't have this mission available, then there will be no way for you to crack into the larger countries. I would argue that it is more important to have the public campaign mission than to have a high persuasion because you can always throw money at the problem and tilt the odds in your favor. Pro tip here, look for a counselor with traits that line up with the country you are trying to take over. For example, Carrie Crab has the Firebrand trait which gives her plus two persuasion in countries with an education of six or less. Perfect for India, which has an education of 5.6. You can get big bonuses if you align your hire's traits with the country in target. Step two, take over the surrounding countries. After you have procured your counselors, then it's time to get to work and start taking control of the countries bordering the target. In my playthrough for this video, we are going to be going after India, so our first moves are going to be Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, and Myanmar. By taking over the surrounding countries, we are going to receive a bonus to the take control missions in India. I would suggest taking control over all the surrounding countries before even thinking about trying to run a mission in your target country. The only exception to this rule is if one of the surrounding countries is a rival. If this is the case, then leave the country alone. If you take a control point in a rival country, it will decrease your success chance of a take control mission in the country you are actually trying to occupy. In the case of our playthrough, where we're taking over India, you will notice that Pakistan is both a neighbor and a rival of India, so we will leave it alone. Pro tip here. Before moving on to step 3, if you have extra cap in the control points, then don't let it sit idle. Before moving on to step 3, go ahead and start taking over control of other countries with strategic value. You will probably have to abandon them later as you begin to take control of your large target country, but until then it makes sense to fill up your control point cap. For instance, in my playthrough, I will also be grabbing Kazakhstan, which is a country that I will be encouraging everyone to take over because of the large See, boost output. Something. Just remember to make sure and remove it from the Eurasian Union. Before moving on place. to step 3, really try to take over a few countries with strategic value. These countries could be countries with high GDP, high intelligence, a large population for more of a slow burn, or high boost output as in our example. And don't be afraid to turn your spoils up in these countries if you don't plan on keeping them for the long term. Step 3. Spam Public Campaign Missions Start spamming public campaign missions with your high persuasion counselors. You won't be able to break into any of the major countries by just make taking over their neighbors. You Recording will need to make a direct effort to sway the population to your faction's cause by repeatedly using Ready the public campaign mission. mission. When you start your public campaign in the target country, you may have to burn through some cash to get your initial campaigns to succeed. However, the more times you succeed this mission, the pace. better chance you have of the Pretty next enemy. campaign working. So you should expect a high cash outlay at first, but it should slowly become easier and easier to successfully run your mission. This step should take a while to complete. It is much harder to break into one of the big four than any other country in the game. To be specific, China is the hardest to take control of, then America, Russia, and India in last place. 
My tip for you on this step would be that if you stop running campaigns, you will lose your progress in your target country, making the next Public campaign harder to run. Unmoved. This is why I encourage you to take over the other countries you want in step two. By unheard. the time you reach step three, you should really have a concentrated effort and a one-track mind to take over the country in question. Step four is the one that everyone should know by now take over your first control point. No Once you've successfully ran enough public campaigns, you should Target's be able to get away. your foot in the door. Exactly when you decide to make the switch from campaigns to try to take control points is up to you. One thing you may not know though, is after you complete step four and take over your first control point, you will probably have to go back to step three and start running campaigns again. This has become, it becomes increasingly harder to take a control point for each control point you already have in the country. In Terra Invicta, things rarely go as planned though, and I wanted to give you a warning here, that if another faction takes over we'll a control point in your target country, don't panic. I would advise using now. any methods such as an increased Standing unrest by. mission, because this country will likely stick with you through your entire playthrough, it seems counterproductive to weaken it before you can we'll get your foot in the view. door. Instead, Ready. start running your public campaign again. And if you're watching my videos, then you know that you should have a counselor with a high espionage stat and the purge mission. This combo will be your best bet at retaking the control point without doing any additional damage to the country. To the you could also take the route of having a high command character and using the coup d'etat mission. We're wrapping up this video, but I have one final bit of information to share today that I just implemented in my personal playthrough of Terra Invicta and I had to share it with you guys. It's not about the rest direction. of this video, but it may be just what someone needs today. North Korea has one nuclear weapon and only we one control no point that can minds. easily be dumped later. Do with this information what Public you will. Remains. Well, that's about all we have for today's video. But before I sign off, I wanted to give a big thank you to those watching. I really hope you learned something new today or found some of the information useful. If you did happen to enjoy the video, then please consider subscribing to the channel so we can continue to grow together. On the other hand, if you didn't enjoy the video, I would love to hear from you and your opinions on how to improve the channel. Just leave a comment below and I will get back to you. I would also like to encourage you to check the video description for a link to my Twitch channel. I've been working on my streaming skills lately and I hope to have a full streaming schedule before too long. I have lots more videos for Terra Invicta planned out, but if there's any specific content that you would like to see, just leave a comment below and I'll get back to you. I want to give one last thank you to everyone watching, it really means a lot and I appreciate it. So thank you once again, until next time, this is Simply Syrup signing off.